this quick tutorial. My name is Eli and today I'm going to show you how to add your own custom backgrounds like this to the layout editor in CheckKeeper. So to get started, you'll simply need to log into your CheckKeeper account and then you're going to head over to the layout section right here on the left side. You can see some popular layouts like Cityscape, which are already here. But what we're going to do is create a new layout. And I like to start with the simple template. I like to use the simple template as a basis because it has a lot of the elements that I'm gonna to need today. Next, I'm gonna hit this little image icon here and choose a file. Now I created this blank check image, but maybe you have an image that you wanna use as a background. Any image can be uploaded. So I hit upload and you can see it here. Now I'll just drag and drop. Now it automatically goes behind all the elements of the check, so no worries about this getting in front of those elements. Simply position it where I want it. And now I can start to move the elements as I like. So let's move date right about there. Let's move the money right here. Now you can see there's a money symbol outside of the brackets, so I'm just gonna click in and delete it because I have a money symbol built into my template. Okay. Authorize signature. Can move a little down. And the memo section. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna delete where it says memo because I have that already on my template. I'm gonna put the payee's name right here and just remove some of that excessive spacing Okay, my check number is here. My business details won't need to be there since they're already on the template. So I'm gonna delete that element. And let's just say I'm gonna use all this space down here. I'd like to add information like the address. And let's move the amount that I'd like to pay here onto the dollar line. Again, I'm just gonna delete any unnecessary elements. Everything inside the brackets needs to stay so that the software knows to transfer that information here. So we got our written amount, we got the payee, we got the date, and we have a memo and even a space for the address. So now all we need to do is save. And now we have a custom template. We can make it active by selecting the spiky ball. So now this is my default because it has that red spiky ball next to it. And I can confirm that as well by going to my check registry, picking a check, and if I go to print that check, I'll get to see a preview of exactly what that's gonna look like. So it might see, okay, $7,805. That looks a little odd in the cropping. So to fix that, I'll just go back to my layout editor, edit layout, and I'm gonna stretch this bar a little further so that way it doesn't break. It all stays on this one long line. Save and exit. Back to my registry. Print. And we can see now it's all on this long line. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach us at support at checkkeeper.com. But this was just a quick tutorial showing you how you can add your own templates in the layout editor. Thanks for watching and be sure to let us know what tutorial you'd like to see next.